Hi, Tim here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about uh, doing some, we're going to do a little outside project and I've got a piece of brick mold that I'm going to fit in where uh, some damage has been done by a squirrel or some some rodent has chewed away down at the corner of my garage door and I'm going to cut in with a, a tool that's called a fine multimaster tool. So I'm going to demonstrate how to cut in and replace a piece of brick molding. So let's go outside and see, uh, give it a go. All right, this area here is the corner of my garage. As you can see, the piece I have here is about the right length. So we're going to mark off just what I'm going to cut here. I like these little uh, combination squares because you can adjust the depth. What I've got here is a wood cutting blade that I find and I'm oscillates back and forth. I made a little bit of a miscut there because I'm kind of working on such a low angle. So I'm going to go just a little bit above my first mark and start over. Can't keep doing this too big of a cut and I don't have a long enough piece. All right, now I'm going to start this over again. Make sure that my blade is tight. This is an older model one. They have newer ones that clip in and they're a lot better. That's pretty good. So now, just get the little hammer. Good, that turned out pretty good. Let's see how much we got to cut here. Now, in preparation for this, some time ago, I covered the bottom of this with epoxy glue. You can, I can feel it's pretty damp right here. And this side of the garage faces north. Doesn't get much sunlight over here, so things don't tend to dry out real well. So now I'm just holding this here and placing a mark, and I'm gonna cut it strong. I got my table saw set up outside, my portable one, so we'll just make a few cuts to make sure that we're close. Now let's go to the table saw. Okay, I got the Bosch table saw that is portable. I really like it for this kind of thing. I can move it around. And I forgot to put on my ear protection, but I will with the saw here. It's a little bit loud. Well, let's give it a try here. Let's see how we do. That's pretty good. Yep, perfect. So what I'm gonna do now, is I'm gonna mix up a little epoxy and put it on here, and then pre-drill a couple of holes to run a couple of nails in. All right, so I've mixed some epoxy here, and I just put it on the top, like this here, just so in case water wicks in there, and then it's kind of protected from rotting again. Slip that in place. Make sure we're tapped in there good, okay. Go set the nails. A little patch. This is a patch plus primer. 
probably best for indoor purposes, but it's what I got, so I'm using it here. This more for cosmetic than anything else. All right, I think we're good. At least it'll look good from the street. And I hope that rodent doesn't show up again and take another whack at it. So we're good. Today we covered just how to do a simple repair and this uh, fine multi-tool can be used many different ways to cut in and patch in or cut something in place. Uh, if you like what you saw and you have questions, particularly if you have uh, follow-up things you'd like like me to respond to, just let me know. Give it a thumbs up if you, if you can and uh, subscribe and we'll see you next time.